DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. What is this DHCP? DHCP is basically a network management protocol that is used by TCP IP networks as the DHCP server assigns IP addresses dynamically to all the computers that are connected to this network. You will need to know some of the basic functions on how to get DHCP information so that way you can at least provide this important information to the networking team so that way you can together resolve this issue. So what is it that I'm talking about? A lot of times if you receive an issue where uh, you know, let's say a group of computers or even a single computer cannot reach to other networks meaning let's say internet just to keep it simple let's say all of your computers within your network can suddenly cannot reach the internet well there are certain functions that we can use that to the, help us determine why are why we aren't connecting and these are the things that you will be asked by the network team so you can provide them this information because you are the person at the location that you work at and you are basically the front line okay so let's go ahead and open up our command open the command prompt as the administrator and just for the fun of it let's go to the root of c cd forward slash and the main command that you would be using as the very basic thing would be the ping command so let's say we cannot reach google that first thing we would do is use the ping command which just type in ping and then type in google.com now keep in mind some websites external websites on the internet have this feature blocked so you may not get any results so once we hit enter here we will get some uh, reply information this basically tells us the ip address of google which in our case comes back as 172 217-11238 so that's what google.com translates to right but the main thing we are concerned about here is whether the packets sent and received were successful in there in our case we were able to send four packets it's always sending four packets and always receives four packets back right this is also referred to as a handshake now if you have lost packets and you you know you have loss of whatever the percentage is that means there is an issue and you would basically see it here and usually would just you know be you know timed out reply right it wouldn't say reply from this equals this bytes this millisecond it would just say time out so in our case everything is fine but if you have lost packets here that means there's something wrong right now most likely what would happen the network team would actually ask you to perform a trace route which performs a more detailed uh, information when it comes to going from node to node on the network which can basically tell you whether there is a server or a router let's say on the network that's causing the issue right so if we do if we type in trace rt and then google.com it will provide us with a bit more uh, detailed information that we can present to our network team so they can troubleshoot the issue so you see how it starts with my own address this is my own address it starts there and then it goes from node to node and you will see it here and once the trace route completes they can go we can have up to 30 hops right it goes from one node to another and it will be pretty lengthy down here you would be basically provide this information you can simply copy paste this and send it to the network team they can have a look and let's say this node actually times out they would know that there is an issue right and that's how you would deal with this type of thing where you base you need basic knowledge in order to collaborate with the network team that works for your company now let me go ahead and close this here open it back up real quick and then we're going to look at the d itself we're going to have a look to see what we can find okay you don't have to go to the root of c i just i don't know i just like to do it it's just my habit in order to see information about your own connection 
uh, you would do so by typing in IP config and then forward slash all. This gives information about all of the network adapters that are installed on your computer, right? And then you will see, once I hit enter here, you will see that a bunch of them are disconnected. There are different types of them. There's wireless, uh, different physical adapters. And in my case, I'm actually connected, tethered, connected uh, through a sharing device, and basically my phone. But nonetheless, it would be the same information that you would see here, just like as if it was a, network, you know, local network adapter. The first thing you would see in my case is the IP version four address. So what we have is basically my local address, right? And this is assigned by dynamic host configuration protocol. So a server that assigns IP addresses on the network assigned to me this IP address, which is 192.168.42.145, right? So in my case, my phone is acting as a router. So let's say you have a router at home or a switch. It would act as the DHCP server and assigned you dynamically this IP address. And dynamic IP addresses are not permanent, right? They are dynamically assigned and they can change anytime. So let's say I disconnect from this network and some other computer comes and connects to it and then I connect back to it, chances are the other computer will take up this IP address and I would get a new one, right? When it comes to subnet, subnet mask, all you need to know as a desktop support person is that subnet mask deals with the amounts of IP addresses available for your network, right? Not to go into too much detail into it, but typically this is 255, 255, 255, 255, right? The first range of IP addresses that are here are used by the network. Once that range of IP addresses is uh, basically diminished or there are no additional there are no available ip addresses left in this range we would move over to the next one and that would expand to a whole a lot more ip addresses right so that's not something we necessarily have to worry about but it, it is to good is good to know what subnet mask is so in a nutshell that's what that is right now lease obtained lease expire is basically how long your ip address is set to last but you know that it, it's this is not something that you would look at to troubleshoot anything i've never seen that issue now let's move on to default gateway in our case default gateway is 192.168.42.129 so what default gateway is is basically a door or a gateway right a gateway in my case to other networks and the other, other network being the internet itself, right? In my case, I am not connecting to anything else but the internet. And of course, we all know that the internet is one unbelievably huge network. So that doorway or that gateway is actually located here, which is the location of my router or a switch, or in my case, my phone. My phone being, you know, being tethered to my laptop is providing this gateway to the outside world, which is the internet. So my phone is acting as a router. So just think of router, your router's IP address is going to be this every time. Well, not exactly like this, but it'll be under default gateway, right? Uh, but that's in the nutshell what the gateway is. Very simple guys, right? And also we got the HCP server and again, in our case, it's our router or my phone, right? So whatever your router is, your, that's what your DHCP server will be. In a business environment, all of these things could be different, right? They may, the, chances are they will not be identical like this, right? This just happens when you're connected to internet through basic router or a switch, right? And there you have it, guys. These are the basic things you need to know about DHCP that involve any desktop support work, right? Yes, it's good to know about 
networking or about anything else that's related to IT and by all means if you want to learn about that I got plenty of material for that specifically for networking but when it comes to desktop support you just need to know these basic basic things so that way the other you know team that deals with networking will be able to have uh, you know a good support the front end support that will provide this information whenever they ask and they will also have the proper tools to troubleshoot any other issues that are related to the network guys i recently created a patreon page if you'd like to support me you can do so link in the description box below thank you so much for watching tell your friends about me to like share comment i would love to hear what you think and i wish you best of luck thank you so much bye bye